Hello, I'm here with Reese from The Last Resort. Uh, we're going to chat about LAN. First off, how you doing? Not bad, not bad. Broke a lot of stuff already and our PCs don't work, but... Fan fantastic. Good start to LAN. Um, broken PCs aside, uh, in the, as the LAN of a whole, how are you feeling about this LAN? Uh, yeah, not bad. We've had quite a poor run of form coming into LAN and UKIC, losing three games on the bounce, but... You know, hopefully we can just play better at LAN. I think we've got quite a few players that perform quite well on LAN. Um, so yeah, we're obviously aiming for top four, like minimum. Um, but anything above that or just placing around it would be quite good for us, especially being the new team. Yeah, that, that's fair, that's fair. And obviously with those roster changes, how are they sort of, you know, bedding in? I think, yeah, it was a big gamble because we obviously removed uh, Flicky, our AWPA. So we then went into not having a out and out AWPA. Um, and we've just been like thrown around roles, but I think we found something that like works as a system. So Cherry on is now open, and I've gone back to like just hard anchoring and entrying. Um, so it started to click a bit better. I think uh, quite a few of our losses were because of me on the AWP, and we didn't really have an entry. Not that I was bad on the AWP, I'm unbelievable, but. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. But yeah, we didn't really have that entry fragger, so. Yeah, that's fair. So obviously, yeah, placing top four. Um, looking sort of internationally, do, does you have goals for the team like on a more of an international level, whether that's like United 21 or EPL or that sort of thing? I think we obviously want to make advance. It's obviously been made a lot harder now with the new ECA changes in that it's no longer a set amount of wins or whatever. It's And it's only eight teams now get promoted instead of 16. Um, but obviously we want to make advance. And then, yeah, we, we've been invited twice to United 21, so it's still getting those invites and playing. Um, we didn't have a great showing at the last one, but that was like our first officials as a five. So it was good practice to get them BO threes that early. Um, but yeah, no, carry on getting those invites and hopefully perform in, in those because we can play like almost full time. So luckily those invites come in for us because we can play those times that they set. Awesome. Um, are there any teams at this LAN that you really want to play? Or I suppose are there any that you really don't want to play? I think I'd really like to play Dripman just because they're opposite us and I'm really good friends with them. Um, and it's always fun playing them. Um, I, just, I can't be bothered playing Verdant again, um, but I probably will have to. Um, and then the Verdant mix, I think, would be fun to play, but, but who knows how that goes. They could rather completely like dumpster us or it could be close. Um, other than that, I think that's it really, because the rest have stand-ins. So I guess Belfast Storm don't, I don't know about that. So them as well. But other than that, the rest have stand-ins, so it's a bit like you're not playing the full five. Um, there's obviously a lot of teams here. Um, do you like keep an eye on sort of the, the lower teams in UKCS? Are there any like players at the minute that you've got your eye on as like potential, you know, up and comers sort of thing? Uh, not really. I mean, the, the main one that, because we also were trialing him and we were interested in him at one point is Minimal on P Viperio Academy. Yeah. I'm glad that's actually like got a roster now. Um, and I know how hard like Shane and Fetis work, so I'm hoping that'll work out for them. But Minimal is definitely someone that's like got a lot of potential to like keep going. And then also it's like, he's not young, but obviously like Onda, Saunders, hasn't played a LAN before. And I get on with him quite well, so it'd be good to see if he plays well. And then, yeah, the lower teams are just random like players. It's like Tadpole's playing with just his mates who are all like level four. Um, but yeah, no, it's fun seeing this many teams. And I'm just, uh, oh, you've also got like the Earl and Seth like yeah. super mix or whatever with their lot. Um, but other than that, I think it's just fun to see loads of teams, especially since people say that like UK CS player base is like dwindling. At least there's a lot of players. They might not be good players, but at least there's a lot of them. So yeah. Um, are there any plans for a third retirement? Is that is that on the <laughs> is that on the cards? I know UK CS go are pretty upset about it. I think I'll give it another year. Uh, I'll give it a good go. Um, but I probably won't, at, th at this point, like, if I do stop playing competitive, I'll 100% do coaching instead. Because also I don't think there's like, other than like Biscu, Fetis, and then you've got like Grimmie Renara started coaching, there isn't really any like experienced coaches in the UK. So I think it'd be good just to go into that field and maybe help out a team or something um, after I stop playing. But I'm still playing okay, I think. So I've got a year or two left of me. Awesome. Well, Reese, thank you very much. Cheers.